Yo guys, welcome to the BFFs podcast YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, like the video before it starts. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're good to go? Yep, good to go. All right, another episode of BFFs. This is our third take on trying to do this episode. The first one, Nessa got sick, right? I'm sorry. Was that yeah. hungover or was that like the flu? No, no, I don't think it was the flu and I totally do not drink so uh, I probably just ate something you don't drink at all is nope. that because you're underage and you can't say it or you actually don't uh both okay there <laughs> uh and then take two we were supposed to film and well so we rescheduled when when Nessa didn't feel well and then Josh and I had miscommunication that I think I'll own this one we have the east coast west coast time and I was on East Coast, Josh is on West. You did say 8.30 a.m. your time, and I didn't miss it. And then my guy sent your producer, whatever. So we screwed that one up. And now, <sighs> take three. Yep, we're here. We're live, though. America's first couple. Like, you guys are now officially <laughs> couples, so we don't have to play that fake game. You're very overt about it on social media. Uh, well, you are. Ness, don't <laughs> shake your head. I also, Nessa... <laughs> The big rumor on the street, not rumor, is Josh, like last episode, said you're now a Dave Portnoy fan. I am. Welcome to the club. Did you notice on, nice. on one of your <laughs> Instagram posts the other day, I put a little queen crown under it. Really? Yeah. Oh, some people you. got it. Some, pe <laughs> some people got it, and some people acted like I was Jackson Mahomes, being like, Leo, <laughs> girls. like, no, I'm... I'm just a stand. I'm standing Nessa. Dave, you're hitting on my girl? Like, what's, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, no. It was just, that's like, all right. We're, we're now like stands of each other. So thank you for coming awesome. back on the show. Um, and we'll get right into it. You got the new song that came out, right? It's yeah. a banger. It's so good. Thank you. Can I hear it? Can we play it? Yeah, let's get, let's get a little snippet. <laughs> and did, is this the one you did with Jaden? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does it rain in California? Only dream I've ever known. Will they love you when you're famous? Where you never be alone. Hope someday I'll find Nirvana. I'll be looking down below. I'll be dead at 27. Only nine more years to go. I got a boy in my head. Fake love, fake friends. I get it. Yeah. Can I? How many? Can I see how many? How many views does this have on YouTube already? A lot. Five mil. Yeah. So, it's crazy. Look at the likes. Look at the like to dislike ratio, Dave. Yeah, that that was that was a banger. Are we? Yeah. I'm like, I first of all, let me tell you something. I consider myself a musical expert, like a legit. <laughs> I'll go back in time here. So I was, and this will date me, American Idol. When American Idol was like huge, I got into that show just by accident, like season one, Kelly Clarkson. I was like, what is this show? So I started watching it. And I'm like, ooh, I like this show. And Kelly Clarkson was fucking awesome. And you knew she'd win. And every year I started watching American Idol, swear to God, I picked the winner for the first 10 seasons before the first elimination episode aired to the point <laughs> Cosmo magazine, you know, Cosmo magazine. Yeah. They had a radio show. Barstool wasn't big. They didn't know who I was. I yeah. became the American idol expert on their show. Like when someone got <laughs> eliminated, I talked to them, be like, yo, you did this wrong. You did that. Like I was an Adam Lambert fanatic. <laughs> like I used to follow him around. I had pictures. Like I had a white t-shirt. I wrote Lord Lambert on it. The guy's voice. So I know music. That was awesome. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. It was awesome. We didn't even, and like, I mean, there's like different drops in the song. There's like when Jaden comes in, it changes the vibe a little bit. It's, it's crazy song. So she killed it. Like, what's next then, Nessa? Like, you drop this. What number song is this that you've released? 
Um, this is my third. Okay. How did, uh, how is this doing compared to the first two? I mean, like, a lot better. A lot. But, like, I'm not surprised just because, like, my first two were just, I mean, it was just, like, the start of, like, my music career. So it's, like, really nothing compared to um, what I've been working on recently. I feel like I've grown so much, so... Uh, the first year kind of if i ask ignorant questions excuse me but are you signed to a label or anything yeah i'm signed to warner oh, so a huge label so how many people are involved are you and again paul and i who's sitting here with with me now we used to do music tours back in the day and we look for kind of up and coming artists and there's a lot before maybe social media was huge, but Barstool was big at the time. So if we put somebody on our tour, they could blow up really quick. So for example, we had like, I paid $1,500 for Mac Miller for like a, a six. Yes, I know. <laughs> That's how early we were at the game. He traveled Holy with us. Shit. He was like the third guy to come on. Like it That's was Mac ridiculous. Miller. Wow. Did we lose you? <laughs> Can we, were you just whispering or could we not hear you? Who, me or no? Oh, no, no, we got you. I, I was joking. Okay. Yeah, so that's how early we were to the game. And we'd see, like, we had Wale, Mac Miller. Uh, we had this guy, Matt, Mike Posner, was the headliner, like, cool shader than me. He sings a pill in Ibiza. Like, so yep. we had, and we'd see them as they go from singing in their dorm room, so to speak, to mm -hmm. agents and teams and things like that. How big is your team right now? Um, I'd say that my team is actually fairly small yeah. just because I, uh, I'm very hands-on with everything that I do. I want, like, complete creative control, and I don't really want to, like, lose myself in the industry, if that makes sense. So I really um, just have, like, my, like, day-to-day -day manager that, like, covers, like, all my shit and then uh, my A&R at my label. So, That's yeah, that, really that makes a lot of sense because I guess that was the number one, like, push-pull thing that we would see from an outsider perspective is mm -hmm. when somebody signed or did something, it was like, okay, they want me to do this. They want me to do it this way. Who was the – I know Mac was one of them. Who was the first artist? There was a guy who refused to sign while Chance. we were – Chance the – who? Was it Chance the Rapper that refused to sign to a label? I know he never wanted to sign to I a label. I didn't hear who you said. Chance the Rapper. Chance the yes, Rapper. Chance the Rapper. He did it, and yeah. he almost yeah. made that song like he has the lyrics in about it, but there was somebody yeah. else. Mac Miller was. Mac Miller, Miller. Was it Mac? Yeah, early on. He wouldn't sign? He, yeah, it was yeah. always that push-pull, and the internet totally flipped the game because Nessa yeah. can be huge without necessarily – she doesn't Sign need it. radio play. You always, yeah. back in the day, needed radio play. Yeah. And if you didn't yeah. play ball, you, you didn't get on the radio, and you really couldn't explode. And then all of a sudden, the internet, people YouTube. were exploding without them. Well, it's because the labels were the distribution, right? Right. They got you all the, the streams, or they, they got you those first, yeah. those first plays to get your song out there. Nessa is the distribution. Correct. Right? Exactly. Like, she has her own in-house fans that will listen to every single song she puts out like she already has automatic streams essentially so what's next crazy. then nessa is there will you tour after yeah, I, COVID? I was wondering that um yeah totally i mean it's like i'm taking it on as like my full-on job like for the rest of my life so uh yeah have you what have you ever obviously i'm sure you've sang in front of people but <laughs> COVID now has been like a year, so crowds aren't happening. I'm assuming your star is way bigger than it was a year ago, a month ago, whatever. What's like the biggest crowd you've ever seen? Because I assume when you do it, you're going to have a fairly large crowd. Oh, yeah, and I'm I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah, like, I guess that's what I was no, I <laughs> No, it's actually terrible because I have like the worst like social anxiety and I get like so like nervous um, if I'm being honest, I've literally never sung in front of a crowd of people. That can that's, be quite scary. Be yeah. So I literally know, like, uh, my first ever, like, concert or tour or whatever, I will shit myself on stage. <laughs> like, it's just going to happen. That's crazy. Uh, and most normal, you know, at least for the most part, most normal progression, you start small and then you're, like, gradually till you blow, but you have the experience. You're just 
Right, like you're yeah, doing well, like 200 people shows. Right? I mean, like, like you I'm, get that. Those yeah, studies. she'll probably go in and have like a thousands, one thousand to five thousand. Yeah, you know what I mean, like thousands of people. I mean, like I've had like solos and stuff like at like um in like chorus, like for my school, like in the choir and stuff, uh, like for like I guess my whole school and like their parents and like family. So I, I mean, I don't know if that counts, but no, that counts. <laughs> and I guess you can always control it. It's like you don't have to go to like a huge venue. But yeah, it's super interesting. So are you once you release this, are you just getting bombarded with offers, people trying to like pull you in different directions? Um, I do believe that this song has given me a lot more opportunities to get into like the studio um and just like with, like, a bunch of different people and, like, a bunch of different sessions, which is really exciting. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's been, like, a crazy experience. I know this song got on radio. It was, like, it premiered on, like, 14 different radio stations, like, an hour before it dropped, and I've never been on the radio before, so yeah. it's, like... So have you heard your, like, has that moment that everyone kind of like a lot of singers will talk about or entertains it's like you just happen to be driving in the car and like your own song comes on has that happened to you yet um i mean the when we were at the release night we were yeah, hearing you i mean like when we yeah the release night during dinner um it came on the radio yeah right? that was cool we was were at dope. like sugar factory eating everyone and then Sure, her interview came on. They pretty much did like 30 minutes of just hype leading up to her song on the radio. So you kept just hearing her come on, do interviews with them, and then they released the song. So, I mean, that was cool. Yeah, my vibe is like you're going to be like, we're going to look back and be like, ooh, we had Nessa on this. She was yeah. like a gigantic. Right. <laughs> yeah. I think so too. It's like one of the only TikTokers whose music I'll actually listen to. I'll give you a heads up, Nessa, too. And, and again, Paul, who's been with me for 17 years, just I'll put this in your like tickler file for the future. My biggest pet peeve <laughs> in the world is when we speak with people or like talent and they're like, they're big, but they're not mega. And then when they get mega and it's like, hey, want to come on, come on BFFs? Like, no, who are you? I will <laughs> yeah, hate you, you forever. You I'm not like that. I'm yeah. not like that. We'll see. We'll see what happens when the fame goes for it. <laughs> We've had that. <laughs> We've had that. I got mad and I, I, we're, we're, we get along now. Like Rob Gronkowski we were like buddies with him what like when he was drafted basically he right. became so big he used to do everything we'd be like hey rob we're doing a video in 10 minutes be there he'd be like there and then he became so yeah. big he's like this motherfucker he's too big for us now jenna marbles <laughs> yeah who used to work for us yep definitely um Jeez. so yeah that's awesome that was a sit and i'm not just saying i would have probably like tried to dance around that back like, oh that's a cool but that was that was legit <laughs> stuff uh Thanks. Josh's Christmas gift for Nessa. Why are we talking about Christmas now? Something happened? I get my Christmas gift. Is this it? the bad Christmas is it, gift? Is this going to be Griffin's? <laughs> Why are we talking? Is this, this, this like a new thing? Yeah. What's the worst yeah. gift Josh has ever gotten? <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> I did it. I can do this Christmas. <laughs> So this Christmas, <laughs> Josh, Josh got me basketball jerseys, one that were not my size, and two, he just ended up wearing them. Okay. So they were like, he, got them, he got them for me, and then he's just like, oh, these now, he just started wearing them like the next day, so now they're his. You know? Giggle like that. That's, you know what that is? That's, That's Homer, Sim Homer Simpson got Marge a bowling ball. With the name with the name Homer on it for like her birthday. That, that's what that was. You just bought uh, okay, yourself listen, a gift. Listen, I got her more than just jerseys. So let's just get that out in the air. I also got her Prada shoes that were like expensive. I don't even know why she wants them. They're all weird and they have like they they literally have heels that are like this tall, like the size of an energy drink. What are you, they are flat. <laughs> That's, they're literal loafers. I don't understand like why. Thick of like that's two very different things, Josh. Yeah, heel is for <laughs> sure like the stiletto. Like. Oh my. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, it's a platform, whatever you want to call it's it. Anyways, start. part of this too. She she wears basketball jerseys. She just was like, she, I asked her what size she was in basketball jerseys. She said large. Get larges. 
they come and I and before I was like, that's probably too big, Ness. You're not that big of a girl. Like, anyways, get them. <laughs> what em. was so it? Like, what, yeah, they're what, too like, big. What jer- who's jersey? I, I don't got even know. uh I got a Kobe Bryant jersey and I got a sh- Pippin jersey, Scotty Pippin. Okay, so I like that. That's that's old school. I I always wonder that with like if I had a girlfriend, like am I getting her like somebody who's in the league and maybe young or I like how you went old. Yeah. Because yeah, you don't yeah. really want her wearing like Some another like, dude's like jersey who's Kel- Yeah, like that Ubre Jr. DMs. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you know that Ubre <laughs> Jr. guy that like plays for uh who's he play for? Golden State, I think. Who? Or some the Ubre Jr. The guy. Oh that yeah, all yeah, 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 yeah. The guy who got the star of the Yes. Yes. You think I'm gonna give Ness that jersey? <laughs> yeah, right. She's like, "Oh, I wonder who this guy is. Let me look him up." Yeah, right. Hell yeah, man. because that guy's awesome looking. Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's what I mean. <laughs> then yeah. he's gonna see it and be like, "Oh, I'll slide in." A hundred percent smart. <laughs> everyone, that's what everyone says. By the way, I, you're like Josh, like I, ten, like a, a week ahead of me in everything I'm doing. Like I did the Bethany Frankel podcast yesterday. And she's like, yeah. oh, yeah, I had Josh on here like two days ago. Yeah, everywhere I go, it's like Josh, It's like your tracks are like right <laughs> there before I'm doing it. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just setting the standard for BFFs, you know? You're I'm all over the place. Else. Yeah. ESPN yeah. everywhere. It's like the logos. So I was wearing Barstool on the ESPN. I know. I really, I really repped it. Yeah. So what was that? What were, you, that? what were you guys on there for? It was the Lakers pregame show. It was like on the Laker Lakers TV or something. They they just brought us on. They asked us about who who we think's going to be in the championship, who we had in the game that night, and then they asked us the Jordan and um, uh, James debate, like who or who's the greatest of all time. So I, I think I think it's Kareem, but Kareem, you don't yeah. hear that answer that much. Yeah, but like when you when you really look into it, like I mean, most points it's got like. The same amount of, I think, league MVPs or something like championship MVPs as Jordan. Like, I don't know, man. He, he was crazy. Kareem was crazy. Yeah, I mean, if you're going that far, you can go like Bill Russell on Boston, but he's got like right. a gazillion championships. A gazillion champ. Yeah, more more rings than fingers. Am I making this up? Or and we talked about Nessa kind of like exploding. And granted, I'm not in. I mean, I'm in the TikTok world, but I'm not. But I'm clearly in your world, so I know Nessa now. Like got introduced through you. I don't know how much I'd know of her if I wasn't aware. But are you kind of like? Bl- I feel like you're blowing up more since we started too. Like you're everywhere. Were you always everywhere, or have you had an uptick lately too? Um, I, I think, mean, yeah, yeah, I totally have grown a lot the past couple of months. I think there was like multiple reasons why, probably. And that Josh, I, I. Same with you though. That I was asking like Nessa definitely has, but are you too? Oh. Um I think what's happening is I'm I'm entering a different demographic a little bit. It's not so much that I'm growing larger cuz like it's not like my numbers are really going up. It's not like I'm like seeing this skyrocket in numbers. Honestly, honestly, my Instagram likes have even gone down a little bit from like what they were in the summer, but I think that I'm like getting more known on a world outside of TikTok. Like I'm not just seen as like this, like only a TikToker anymore. Maybe that's it. Maybe you're crossing yeah. now into worlds that aren't like TikTok. And I don't see feel like, which is what you always want to do. I don't feel like I'm seeing other TikTokers come across the other platforms. That it's like always, it's always if it's a Josh. TikToker, it's you. Yeah. Mm. Right, I, that that was my goal. I mean, that like that's why we did BFS at the start too. Like Dave, we talked about it. It was like so I could, so you could reach into a different demo like Barstool and everything, and then as well myself go into that more male demographic, a little bit older of a demo as well, because I'm I'm mostly girls that are like fourteen to probably eighteen, right? Or fourteen to twenty one. So yeah, and I still get that whenever I'm out. Like I'll see the yeah. triple take from a girl and then it's like, oh, that's that's a Josh Richards fan when they're like young <laughs> and whispering and looking. They're going to be like, come over and act nice. And then at the end, it's going to be like FaceTime Josh. It's like, all right. Uh, <laughs> right. I, I can tell the difference now, too, because I'll like come out of restaurants and instead of like groups of girls waiting outside, I'll have like groups of guys. Now. Yeah. Like Welcome it's, it's so different. It's so different. They're like, yo, Josh, you're the goat. Yeah. You're the goat, man. Like, let's take a pick. Let's take a pick. Pick, yeah, like, let's so do, different. like, 3,000 shots and, like, yeah. do 3,000. <laughs> I that That's the number of like, shots on tops of shots. Um, now, this, I don't I don't think you – oh, and sticking with that, that, that's where I thought of it more because somebody sent me a clip 
of and, and I guess I gotta tip my cap to him. I know I know Ness and I are kind of like back and forth on this guy, but um Tim Dillon, comedian, was on Impulsive. And yeah, he just had a funny line. He's like, I go on, you know, I go on like Clubhouse and it'll be like Bryce Hall, Warren Buffett, and Mike Gruen. <laughs> and that's <laughs> You know, that's kind of, I don't know, he's just, I've never known what to make about him, but I keep hearing people mention his name. It's Tim Dillon? Yeah. Yeah, he mentioned I loved, it. I love Tim Dillon. No, yeah, Tim Dillon. He mentioned like Michael. school guy. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, next one up, and I don't think Nessa would care about it. Addison Ray may be, be making an album, getting into the music game. It, is this true? Do you guys know this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I, I Maybe, yeah, I guess. And do you care? I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't really know if it, she is. I don't. I don't care. I'm actually so happy for her. I mean, like, I love whenever people like work hard on something and like do like what they want. It's actually really cool to see. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw that. I, Have you ever heard her sing? Huh? Like, is it a known thing that she can sing? I've never heard Addison Rae be a singer. I don't think I personally have. But no, I've never. I've never heard her like just you know. Belching it Belt out, it out. Like, through, through the through the halls or whatever. Say belching. Yeah, well, isn't that belting it? Oh, <laughs> it's it's belting, belting. isn't it? Yeah. Belting. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Hopefully she's not belching. Uh, <laughs> weird song. <laughs> so did Jackson yeah, Mahomes? I know I mentioned him earlier. Did he make? Did he reach out again? I I don't know if he ever stops. It, it's like ah. Uh, I, who knows? I, I I don't know. I didn't even know who this guy was until he duetted him. So have you ever responded at all to him or communicated no. with him at all? No, not at all. I still don't know whether this guy is self-aware or not. I have, that, he, that, he's like, he says he is, and then he, then he acts like he isn't, and then he's like, no, I'm in on the joke. I, I have no fucking clue. I but you almost, you almost like a little bit, you almost kind of got to respect the hustle. Like, the guy doesn't give up. He does not give up. He's, <laughs> no, got, he's got balls. He does not care if his pride is, like, thrown away. <laughs> he just but goes for it. Does he, he think he it. has like a chance? Uh, like, do you think if you put him in a lie detector, and, and the lie detector was accurate, and you're like, right. this is going to pay off? Do you think he believes that? I, if I'm being honest, I don't really think he even likes me as much as he's making it seem. I just think that like he probably posted one thing and then saw the attention that it got him, and so he's trying to milk it. You know, so that's just what it seems like. Maybe some like clout farming's going on. Yeah, because like I, like if I were to um, go on my Instagram right now and like look at my DMs, I don't think he would have like DM'd me once. But it's just all on public. Like, yeah, uh huh. But right. the only thing that flies in the face is we asked him to come on this podcast, and then he said no with like kind of like you've made fun of me before. So that's why if you're looking for clout. Like that was the number is people right? want to yeah. see it. Why wouldn't he come on the podcast? That's the part it, I don't like. We'd have him yeah. on in this situation. I think we could. Most of the guests who come on, you know, it, they end up. It's like friendly. It's not like no one comes yeah. out of here being like, "What an asshole." Even <laughs> even if we don't like, really, we're not like a fan. Like I like Perez Hilton came on. We weren't really like, "Oh, we love Perez. Let's be Team Perez." He still probably didn't feel like it was a gotcha. Right. And it never is because we're not nah. like the, the bottom line with this podcast, I think, is if you can kind of make fun of yourself and don't take things too seriously, you're going to have a good time because you're, like you're that's G. how we are. Yeah. Yep. By the way, do you know who Food God is? I do actually. Yeah. He's going to be on two weeks. Okay. Cool. That's me actually, telling you. That's, that's it. I've, I, I think I've texted with him before. I, I actually, Food God, I've said this and this is like a teaser. He's probably, there's one other person I was thinking of. It could have been you. I don't even know if I was saying you, Josh. Two people I hadn't met, although I didn't really know much about you, so maybe not. But I had one impression of Food God. And for people who don't know who he is, he's like best friends with the Kardashians. He's on the Kardashians. Yeah. He literally changed his name to Food God. That's his name legally. Like mm -hmm. legally? Legally. Legally, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> savage. That is awesome. And, and I was like, I'm not going to like this guy. He's going to be like... Not my speed. I fucking love him. I think he's one of the funniest guys I've met. And I think right. he's, he's super self-aware. So that'll be a good episode. Um, 
this was in the news, and we're crazy. We're kind of interested in your take since you guys, yeah. Brown, on what level would you say they are a celebrity relationship? These, These two, two on a one through ten. So, like TikTok, TikTokers are now the new celebrities, and they are the top TikTokers. So well, I would say Addison and Bryce. Addison and Bryce, but they're right. They're literally. They're, they're maybe catching they, up. They might be like a couple notches <laughs> below Addison <clears throat> and Bryce. Right. If Addison and Bryce are a ten, they're definitely right. to me the number one. Yeah. Like no, a hundred percent. Yeah, they have to be. Yeah. Yep. But then it's 100%. these two. Who else would it be? Well, that's where I get confused. Oh, well, it would be Dixie and Noah. Right. Yeah. Right. I, I yeah, forgot, but actually, Nessa's Dixie fans, they have crazy fans that are, like, in love with your relationship. The thing about Nessa's, too, Nessa has some, like, diehard, oh, diehard. The, the yeah. first time that <laughs> I got in this, they came from my throat. Like, they I love I've never, me. I've never fun. seen yeah. fans like Nessa's fans. I've never seen it. I've actually never seen people that are so, like, just about the person they follow. Yeah, no, I, I they, they that, like me now. At first, they literally wanted to kill me in the beginning. I had yeah. all these, like, oh, I had a million of them, in, and I couldn't tell what was going on there. I'd look, it's like three followers, and they're all called, like, Nessa stands. They're like, if you don't like Nessa, I'm going to chop your face off. Like, they had all these, like, weird names, and they really didn't like me in the beginning. But now I think they've come uh, around because Nessa's like, oh, yeah, I like Nessa's Dave. They'll just too. follow. If, if Nessa right now is like, I actually don't like Dave, they'd be right oh, down, <laughs> right, right down my throat again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this, by the way, I would rank it. It's so hard because we're so in their world as opposed to the others. But I do like Dixie That's too. True. I do too. Addison and Bryce are one. I think most people, even if you're not TikTok, kind of are aware of that. I'm so with it's the, Addison. And I put these two, yeah, the, the other two, Neck Dixie and, and Noah, similar. But I may put them but, slightly but, but above. But Dixie and Noah say that they're dating. You guys refuse. Well, it's different. Like They they're don't like, on this, and then they go like. But they never say boyfriend, girlfriend. But, but Dixie and Noah do. So that that's is, the only that reason they're true. above you. Maybe if you guys would just say it, then you would rank higher. Maybe. There's... So I haven't <laughs> seen this. The Bryce Hall pranks Dick, Dixie and Noah. I heard about it, and it's an. I, when I saw it, I'm like, "This is an interesting dynamic," because seemingly Dixie was mad that the Mellows were mad, but Bryce and Noah, I know, know each other, and I thought were friends. So yeah, no, they're boys. They're best friends. They're like they live together. Okay, so let's see it. So let's see what we got. All right, guys, it's that time of the vlog again. Prank time! <laughs> so today we're going to be pranking Noah. Mainly Dixie, right? It's Dixie. Sorry, Dixie, about this, seriously. So I have two strippers coming over. I'm going to have Noah blindfolded. I'm going to FaceTime Dixie, show her the strippers, get her reaction, then take the blindfold off of Noah and then see both of their reactions. Dixie's probably going to be mad, hence the title. Hopefully they don't break up. Yeah, I don't want to be the cause of their breakup. <laughs> All right, let's go get the girls. I just pause the music. I'm fucking having a, like a panic attack. Like this no fucking one. sucks. If I feel something furry, I'm kicking it. Okay. Right. <laughs> I wonder what they're gonna change it into. Should we? Should we go in there? No. Should I go in there? Yes. <laughs> Bro, I'm freaking out. Is she on? No, not yet. Stop. Oh, Who the fuck is right here? here? No, don't, don't worry. worry. Yo, what the fuck That's is that? That's literally me. Don't worry. Yo, dead ass. Yo, what's up, dude? What the fuck is? What is going on? <laughs> Up. Did she get mad? She just hung up immediately. Yo, Dixie, I know you're in the Did studio recording for your multi-million dollar record deal. No, I said you were pranking him. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that was the prank. I just didn't want you to be mad at Noah. This was all me. <laughs> yeah. It, check the footage. I didn't even look. I swear to God. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> all right, I promise everything will be good. That was the last thing I would have thought. Yes. <laughs> okay. So are, <laughs> are people really mad here or fake mad? I, I, sh people are. Well, the, let's start with like. People, is, I mean, was people are Dixie, mad. He got sixty. Was Dixie so like got, really mad? I think a little bit, but I think they're all over it. Like that to me is just a big like skit. Like everyone's getting views. It's all I could see fans right. being like, "Oh, that was just." But I mean, that was just a pr like. How could you get mad about that? But I don't. Noah, I, Noah definitely wasn't even in on it. Like Noah didn't know, at all. But. 
like you got Bryce Hall putting like a blindfold on you, being like, "We're gonna like you." Kind of, you don't think this is? I mean, he's doing something, right? But like he's also like sometimes he'll throw a snake on you or something, well, maybe like that, a koala yeah. bear, <laughs> right? So but, so sometimes it's like it's not a a prank that you're like, "Oh, this is gonna make me and my girlfriend break up." So but, all right, let's put it in your shoes then, yeah, Nessa. Well, would you have like it, if you were in Dixie's shoes, would you have cared? Um. Yeah. You would have. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I think it, was a, uh, it wasn't a it was a funny prank. To, in a yeah. girl's shoes, you don't want to open up your phone and see your boyfriend having strippers in, in his face. Fine, but then like three seconds later, it's like, okay, it was a prank. I wouldn't and be mad at Noah. by the way, those Noah. strippers weren't like exactly. I'd be yeah, it's not price. like they're like top of the line escorts. Yeah. No. I don't know. That seems kind of harmless and in. It's kind of just embarrassing for Dixie. Like, she has to... That's yeah. embarrassing. See, I don't, I don't think that was... What, when you watch it, like, I don't think it's embarrassing. I, I don't know. Well, all. it's uncomfortable because she was clearly, right. like, mad and then it's posted on YouTube. I I resonate with Dixie. I feel bad. I think all girls would. Yeah. Let's see what her mom said. Yeah, her mom was pretty pissed about it, okay, too. Okay, let's see we the mom. We have a clip of her. So, and I thought it was trash. Oh, there you that's go. mom's opinion. Don't mess with my kids. It was hurtful and I didn't like it. People can say I'm soft, whatever. I don't care. Sorry, that's how I feel. Thank you, honey. I thought it was disrespectful. If it happened to me, I wouldn't like it. It happened to my my daughter. She wasn't happy about it. Uh, Rice does what he does, you know. And then you keep moving. Whatever. Thank you, Heidi. But we love you, Kevin. Have a good night. I love her. Wow. Yeah, I mean, she, I get really that. The, like, I, I don't she was know really, if a, like a parent would understand. No, like the whole, I'm just, I have thick yeah. skin. <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't know. To me, it's all like content. Everyone's making content. It's yeah. like you guys are together. It's like, I just didn't think it was that. You know, I I did an unboxing, like, and I don't have a girlfriend, but during quarantine, like, I, I did, people were sending me packages. And I right. would, I don't open them from 8 p.m. to like 3 in the morning. And it just took on a life of its own. And I didn't mean mm. for that, but like somebody sent me like a hooker. And this wasn't, <laughs> nobody was in on the joke. Like my doorbell rang in the middle of it and it was a legitimate hooker. Were you live? I was live. Yeah, it's all oh on. God, I didn't know that. Like I, I so, went. So what happened? Yeah, how'd it go? I didn't. And this is where people who are like Dave's a jerk, I wasn't going to put her face on camera. We were live streaming. So I went downstairs and I tried to explain what happened. I'm like, you kind of got pranked. Like I'm doing, and I showed her, I'm like, look, here it is. She's like, oh, I kind of researched. And then I paid her and I felt bad for her. Like she drew, I didn't, you, you're make those eyes. Like I like fucked her. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hate her. Cause I felt like she wasted her time. And I felt really bad for her. And she was. That was nice of you. Maybe one of the more unattractive humans I've ever seen in my life. Oh, bad hooker. I don't know if that was like part of the prank, but I felt really bad. Like she showed up. And by the way, throughout. So you paid her because you felt bad. doing that. What? So you paid her because you felt bad about how she looked. No, I felt (laughs) bad. She like came over. She was ready to go. I was like, how much? How much? What was your price? She's like $300. I was like, Here. You can just leave. Right. Well, that's that's nice. I'm a gentleman and a scholar. Right. <laughs> yeah. She, hey, she's a lot more expensive than Trisha. Trisha was like 15 bucks. That, yeah, that's true. That was unbelievable. Five bucks. Yeah, no. I think she she's was going five. Like, I think she she's really doing it. Job. Yeah, she's really doing it for like a four-piece chicken nugget meal, maybe, <laughs> if you're lucky. All right. We got a game here for Nessa. And by the way, after we do this, Nessa, you're, all, you're more than welcome to stay, leave for the rest of it. But we created a game for you. Do you have it, Brianna? Uh, yeah. Is it? Are we playing the dream dream? NASA's oh. dream collab? Yes, your dream collab. So, do we? Can we pull Ooh. it up? God. <laughs> so, how does this work exactly? So you pick one from each row. Can you one, guys see two. it? It's like weird, like font. Yeah, shit. They might not. Oh be yeah, able I can see, see it. it. I could read them for you. Can you see? Can so you guys you can see, see this? I can see it. She might not be able to. I'll, so you, I'll read you, them. All right, cool. So you pick from column one? Yeah, so like across. Okay. So across, you got between Drake, Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, Taylor Swift, and Beyonce. Yeah. Who are you 
Who you I, I almost want to hold on. I'm going to write down like what I think she's going to pick. Okay. Before so she make it a game. Oh, oh, maybe Dave's uh, Dave's American Idol expertise are about to come out. <laughs> yeah. The guessing. No, I'm actually really stuck between two on this one. Let, oh, uh, let me write the two. I think you're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have mine. All right. Do I have to say one? Yeah, say one and then tell us the two you were stuck between. Uh, I'm going to have to say Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber? Yeah, the other one was Drake. You had Drake. <laughs> oh, you had he had both. He had Drake and Bieber written on his wow. paper. Wow. Wow. You are good. I, th- I thought you were going to go Drake over Bieber, but that was who yeah. I was okay. debating between. Okay? Yeah. That that's that's a hard choice when you got to go between Drake and Bieber. No, yeah. Almost I'm impossible. Like, Justin Bieber's just like I feel like Bieber collabs yeah. maybe more than Drake, but I could be making that. I feel like it's more unique. Like if I heard that's what I would Nessa do. and Bieber, I I wouldn't I'd be like, "Oh my god." But if I heard Nessa and, and Drake, Drake like, you're oh like, oh my god, yeah, yeah. that'd be sick. That's true. The shock, true. the sh- It's like it's like when you hear Josh Richards and Dave Portnoy are having right. a podcast yeah. together. Yeah, it's like because weirdly, like Bieber, oh yeah, feels like it could swim in Nessa's lane a little bit. Like it makes more sense. Yeah. Nessa likes yeah. the Canadians. They're all Canadians. And true. So Josh. <laughs> oh, true. That is true. The l- little little six six action. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next column. All, all right. right. You got. The weekend, Selena Gomez, Billie Eilish, Travis Scott, and Rihanna. Oof. Is it, that's, oh. <laughs> they, they fucked you with the Travis Scott and Billie, I feel and like. And the weekend. Yeah, that's. that's uh, uh, okay, I'm going to say Travis Scott just because. That's uh, another wow factor one. Yeah. No, yeah. no, yeah. Also, um, for some reason, I get a lot of comments that I. Sound like Billy, or you I have like a do. similar style to her. I don't really hear it, but I just feel like if people think that it'd be weird to have. So when you answer that, was song. that more? I, by the way, I had narrowed that down to two. I was wrong there. I, I thought you were going to say the weekend, and then my second mm-hmm. was Travis Scott. When you you're making decisions, are you doing it? It sounded like basically on that one. Like, who you're a fan of or you, who you're like, oh, we could, like, create something pretty cool? No, oh, yeah, I think I'm thinking about, like, what would be the most dope song. Got it. Most okay. dope song. Yeah. All right, we got right. row three. Row three, you got Post Malone, Lady Gaga, Harry Styles, Cardi B, and Shawn Mendes. These are fucking hard. Yeah. yeah that one's so easy. Really? Yeah. Post, yeah. Post Malone? Yeah. Post, yeah. 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 Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I thought there was a chance Harry Styles that would seem like, again, makes sense. For me personally, um, like best concert I've ever been to is Lady Gaga. Yeah. It, wow. It was unbelievable. So, mm-hmm. like, she would be my choice because I'm obsessed with her. Yeah, she's crazy. Cardi B would be a, would be a, a, a different collab. That would be kind of <laughs> funny to see. All of them. I mean, Post Malone would be awesome. Gaga would be uh, – Gaga would, again – weirdly in my head and that could be because i'm older but if i'm just like minding my own business and you see gaga someone and says nessa? nessa did a song with lady gaga to me that puts you on like a wildly different level than post malone like post malone wouldn't shock me lady gaga that there's would, shock value that, that would shock me right too, yeah it's like drake like i think I mean, lady gaga is a far bigger star than post malone she, yeah she is 100%. yeah has has to be like yeah, her name has just been out there for so long, too. Like, but yet, geez. on number one, we ignored it because we didn't put Beyonce in there, and there's no doubt Beyonce is, Beyonce. is bigger than... Right. Yeah. 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 That's true. All right, row four. Jason Derulo, Olivia Rodrigo, Lil Yachty, Madison Beer, MGK. Oh, I, MGK. No, that yeah, was, I already knew that. She yeah. said it That's before obvious. I could even say it. That was... <laughs> <laughs> and this yeah, is your vibe. You kind of have... A, right, exactly. That's you kind of have like an edgy... Mm-hmm vibe to you well that's that's what people were saying about lottie die was Jaden kind of gave off mgk vibes didn't they no yeah uh-huh. um but it i mean like in the beginning like when uh my a and r was recommending a feature for lottie die um she said mgk but it also was gonna be my first feature and i felt like Jaden had the same vibe as him and i'd feel more comfortable, comfortable. Yeah. yeah so wait sure. you pick do you that was an option you picked, like, I'm going to go Jaden over MGK? Is that correct? 
I mean, like not over. I don't mean to Jayden be, but like, been, you, that was a choice you made. Well, I mean, Jaden would have been a lot easier. Uh, I don't know if MGK would have ever happened, but yeah, yeah. The, it's like that was enough for could sure. Have, yeah, Got uh, it. but um, and I think that, I mean, I think the cool thing about you guys doing this song together is like it, it has that cool story of like the two social media. I feel like they're the two social media kids that are like in music are being looked at as like super serious about yep. their their uh like i guess job or their mm. profession all right last row dixie By the way, it, it, machine gun kelly was another one like we i think we passed on him yeah he was gonna come on wasn't he no i don't mean wow. here i mean back when we were doing like our oh. early music tours i used to hear his name all he was like a time. total different artist then yeah. he was yeah, he, he was, was like uh like, yeah like yes. yeah hard rapping now. like eminem yeah yep. he was like eminem yeah i'm so glad it, he's crazy how it different up. he is Oh, new album is the best Fire. album he's ever had. So good. So good. So last row, Dixie, Lil Huddy, Lil Ray, Jake Paul, Jacob Sartorius. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Probably pick someone from this row over like the Drake row. Really? <laughs> no, um, I'm going to have to go with Dixie. Does I'm Dixie sing? Feel like... Yeah. Huh? Dixie has Dixie? songs. Right. What do you mean? <laughs> right. I forgot. I forgot <laughs> it's she it's the one with. She did the one with Wiz, right? Wiz Khalifa, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Little Huddy's putting out fire pictures the other day, but. All right. That was an interesting game. That was a hard <laughs> game. Okay. Steve Madden.com offers diverse assortment of men's footwear. By the way, have I talked to the Steve Madden guys? I feel like I have at some point. Um, they get everything under 200 bucks. Steve Madden has guys covered this spring with classic looks. Seamlessly into the wardrobe. Chelsea's to hookahs and dress shoes to casual sneakers. 20% off your men's collection. SteveMadden.com. Steve Madden's kind of my style now. It's like kind of at least as I remember it, like sort of dark and like yeah. solid. It's, it's cool. Um, one use per customer, active February 24th, 2021 till April 30th. So keep that in mind. That's how you know it's like a real deal. 20% off Steve Madden's collection, stevemadden.com. February 24th, 2021 to April 30th, only one per customer. Uh, also, you can check out his memoir, The Cobbler, How I Disrupted an Injury, Fell from Case, Came Back Stronger Than Ever. I didn't know that about Steve Madden. That's why I remember we were doing stuff. Like he, I think he had insider trading. It was like a big, and it's really? sort of featured in a movie, I believe. Like they built well, a, Yeah, yeah. It, it may have been like Boiler Room. There was something, Wolf of, something where they just I, built the stock up. Why do I think it's Wolf of Wall Street? Up. They built the, it may have been with Jordan was. Belfort. Yeah. So it's a crazy story, but the products have always been really good. Check it out, stevemadden.com. Is it Wolf Wall? Did you look it up? Yeah, yeah. So it was like what they 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 jacked up. Um, yeah, they got a bunch of stuff. Booth, the faded dress, everything. Go check them out. All right, BFFs. So no, Nessa, yeah. you're you're free to go, free to stay, whatever you like. I appreciate you coming on. Do you want to leave or do you want to stay? Totally. What do you want to do? You might as well stay if you got nothing else to do. You can chime in if you want. I'll stay. Yeah, you can just be quiet. Yay. You can just be like a little. Yeah, whatever <laughs> yeah. you want to talk. The Nessa stands are so happy right now. Yeah. No. <laughs> so what's this that you're doing, Josh, with Mark Wahlberg? Unrealistic ideas form cross-check studios. I don't know how much you can do, by the way. You seem like you're doing something new every single day. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a man of many, many talents, Dave. Clearly. So what is this? And how involved? <laughs> like, I, you can never tell. Like, I tend to, when I get opportunities presented to me like i want to be very involved if i'm not like very right. involved it's like eh, i don't i don't know no, if this I is one it. that i'm i'm very involved in this one you're very this involved. is yeah i'm doing calls about this every single day so what is it like uh so it's it's like a partnership with mark's production company uh we're gonna be focusing a lot on unscripted content doing a lot of like docuseries stuff um uh, looking at doing like scripted content later on and doing some actual shows. But at the first, we kind of want to be this home for Gen Z content across social media. So like syndicated shows on Snapchat, Facebook, any like platforms like that streaming services. So we'll be focusing a lot on, on that area. Interesting. What are you laughing at, Paul? The picture, the, the, the release. <laughs> Growing? He looks great there. He doesn't look like that in real life. Um, 
Well, maybe he does now. I don't know. He's got that, that, that baller that? smirk on there, eh? He's got the little, like, I know something you don't. Did he do the surgery yet? No. No, I think that's next week, oh, maybe. Oh, wow. It's coming up. Yeah. It's Milf coming up. for Josh Richards. This is awesome. <laughs> Did you see? This was... I have yeah. not seen this. It's so funny. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Nesta. You're going to have to see this, but... No, it's there, funny. There were... Moms were going crazy. They don't exist any longer. His group used to sit and read erotic... Uh, You're in this? Oh, my God. Hey, what's up, everyone? Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, Ladies, no down, no down. When I was doing research for this interview, I found this Facebook group, MILFs for Josh Richards. A bunch of your fans had to reach out to them, had to give them at least 10 seconds each to uh, talk to you real quick. So let's start off with Dan. Dan, what do you want to say to Josh? You got 10 seconds. Josh, I might be a smidgen older than you, but I'll take it. <laughs> Love it, Dan. Right. Let's go, Thank Julie. You. I just have one question. Do you wear briefs or boxers? <laughs> uh, more of a, a boxer brief. You don't got to but... answer that, Josh. Oh, what do you okay. oh, I no. did, though. Is that... Like, how insane like uh, that seems like a fever dream how did you get involved in that <laughs> I, you you don't okay so I, I michael like you guys know we've talked about this michael does a lot of my scheduling right or or my assistant christina they put a lot of stuff on my schedule and sometimes i, I have such a busy day like i don't even know always what interview i'm going to be going into next sometimes it's like two minutes before i text christina yo what is this about she gives me details really quick i go into it so this one no idea was told it was called it, I, I got told it's a general interview that's all i got that's that's what i got for info going into this step on and it's this like complete parody interview the entire time the guy's like asking for like my mother's maiden's last name like it, it was crazy it was so funny though it so is it was that a skit or is that really yeah, nice it, yeah was that i fake? mean i i think i want to believe it's real that's what I'm okay. gonna say. Yeah. Who's, the guy? Like Santa Who's Claus. the guy hosting it? Uh, he works for 1:37 p.m. I think it's like Gary V's company or something. Got it. I don't. I don't know. It was some. It sounds like an SNL skit. I'd want to believe that it's real, but that may have been like an SNL right. skit. Yeah. Um, you, you, it's like Santa. You want to believe it's real, but yeah, you totally don't do. know. A girl <laughs> freaks out over a famous person. Watch live and react on the show. Dave, you're the famous They're person. They're at the one. They're at the one. <laughs> you, <laughs> you are the famous person. Play that again. Dave Portnoy's outside I, I, right now. I, that, you, that, I had no idea that was coming. Dave's outside of the lobby. We're all going downstairs. Dave's just trying to, like, come with you. Three minutes outside the lobby. We're coming yeah, I, I, I'm getting, I've, something's happened to me too. Like in this quarantine, I've talked about it. Right. I can't go anywhere. It's like, I, no. I literally, like I've always stayed at the same hotel and forever. Switch it up now. Yeah. It's like, I don't want to stay there or I just don't even want to leave like my room. It, it, it is kind of a little bit sad. I mean, I don't right. mind it, but it is imagine, getting different. Imagine when, imagine when we're like together in public, Dave. I know. That's when <laughs> the game People over. People are going to lose their shit over you too. Yeah. It's been, it's been a wild. Just running from all, all over the place. Some people will probably hate us. Some people will be coming at us with like pitchforks and shit. My <laughs> people are generally nice. I Have you ever met somebody in person who's like either of you, I guess like Nessa, no chance. She's too nice. Yeah. Have you met someone that's come up to you and been like, I don't like you? Fuck I you. I feel like I feel like I've had had like a weird experience like that before. I don't know. I don't know if I ever have if I if I ever have, it was like I was definitely a lot younger. Because if someone came up to me now and said that, I'd just be like, Right. All right. I'm rich. And you really don't have <laughs> it either way. Like I've had that's like the Cam Newton when he's saying rich. Right. I you know, I have a controversy. There are people, I've had it, but it's few the the amount that say it online is nothing like it's very rare for somebody to come right. up to me and be like hey you're an asshole yeah half the time mm, the people awkward. that are saying it online will probably come up and ask for a photo right that They're that video like, i'm glad i saw i can't believe i hadn't seen that 
My ego is through the fucking Everyone roof was right tagging now. me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see Dave, that. Dave's gonna be strutting huh. all day long. He's gonna he's gonna be having that that little like that plug walk in him. You know? Yeah. He's no, gonna I'm gonna try to like slowly leak that out to like the world. <laughs> um, <laughs> Billy to Bryce Hall vandalized. Do we care about that? What someone wants to fight him? Is that it? Yeah. Uh, it was like the kid was trying to join Sway, and so he did this whole. YouTube video where it was three challenges and if he beat Bryce in two of the three or all three or something Then he would be allowed to join sway. That was the idea. So he paid that he bought a billboard for this YouTube video and Pretty much saying just Bryce Hall accept my challenge Got it. Yeah, oh, he probably and, and vandalized then, Bryce's face Yeah, maybe he was probably like damn. I didn't get to join sway mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He comes over and just paintballs or eggs or whatever <laughs> Zoe Laverne pregnant. Zoe Laverne. Zoe Laverne. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> Zoe Laverne. <laughs> What's her name? It's, it's Zoe, 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 Zoe Laverne. Laverne. Oh, it says Zoe on here, right? Zoe? I didn't fuck that one up. No, it's Zoe. It says Z-O-E. Isn't that how it's you spell Zoe? Zoe? That's Zoe. <laughs> her name is Zoe, Zoe, though, guys, right? I'm right. I know. Yeah, there is there is a way to spell Zoe with a Y. A hundred percent. Yeah. yeah Zoe I'll give it Chanel to you. I'll or whatever her name is, right? Well, this girl's weird, so she spells her name weird because she's a fucking weird. Okay. <laughs> she's, she's, she's pregnant a with Dawson Ray. Laverne, who most recently apologized for kissing and catching feelings for a 13-year-old. What? Yeah, that's where the weird thing comes in. Yeah. It's like it's like her kid could be the one. She might be crushing on her kid when it pops out. Yeah, that's how like, That's what they got to so they got to worry about that. I feel There's bad be for like, this child. No comment on me. I'm not going to get into 13 year olds. Get that. That makes what? She was 19, <laughs> and she there was a video came out of her kissing a 13 year old boy when she was 19. Like yeah. passionately? Yes, and they were like holding oh, hands like very, and shit. No, no, no. They were like dating for a little bit. I yeah, they were something. dating. A 19 year old was dating a 13 year old. Yes. Nine. Right. This yeah. girl was dating a 13 year old boy, yeah, and now boy. she's pregnant. Which is just see like when I was thirteen, up. if I pulled a nineteen-year-old girl, I would have been walking through school like how Dave's about to walk through with this New video. York after, Ooh, after I, I'm video. actually like more curious about this thirteen-year-old. Did he look like LeBron James at thirteen? Like no, what? he looked no, like a straight he up looked thirteen. Like a no, baby. no, no, no. But I think I think the thing he's saying like he's like a victim. No, yeah, he's trying to. Yeah, he's trying to. The thirteen-year-old is now. Yeah, he's yeah. trying to say like he's a victim of this situation. Which so he I don't is, know the full. He's thirteen. No, yeah, yeah, he, he totally is. is. Yeah. He, I, he would be. He's thirteen years old. Yeah. But I'm saying like he's playing like he's not playing the card of like I'm the man. Look at me, I'm the man. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. yeah. So Zoe's just a. Weirdo. That's always one of those. It, it's 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 an interesting dynamic because I was clearly shocked, but the shock is always. If that's a 19-year-old guy and a 13-year-old girl, you're far more like, uh-oh, someone's got to go to prison, like, instantly type yeah, situation. instantly. Yeah. But when it's reversed, like, I had the initial reaction. What It's like, oh, this guy's, like, getting high fives, but it sounds like he's upset about it. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think he's high-fiving. I don't know. Yeah. Interesting. What a weird story. And she's super famous, this girl? Yeah. When- she used to be. She used to be huge. Like, she was... She was low key the like queen of musically. Like you know how Charlie's like the face of TikTok. I mean, there's been videos leaked about this girl literally crying I because just Charlie say, replaced her as like the those queen of TikTok. Videos are brutal. She's crying. Like she's like out. in a hallway, like screaming her head <laughs> off. Like so I'm the TikTok yeah. queen. Like why is why she is doing she this to me? me followers why is she passing? Behind? Like she's freaking out. Like sitting in a hall. It looks like it looks like someone just shot her dog. In front of her. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. It reminds me like, I'll leave Brittany alone. Okay. Um, Zoomer versus Boomer. Looks like it's a little bit of a different setup, and then we'll do questions. Um, and I think we're good. Yeah. All right. Let's see if you can get any of these, Ness. Yeah. Nessa, how old are you? I'm 18. Okay. So. I suck at names, though. Kevin Fenderline, Brittany's first husband. Oh, I would have no idea. Yeah. You should know that more than me. No, yeah, I know. He, that was like Brittany was 
was when that happened, like, she was it. She was the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know. Free, free Britney. Britney. I, haven't I, I was just about hat. to say, free did you guys, did Britney. you guys see that, that document? That was crazy. Unreal. So crazy. God. What? No fucking. <laughs> is this like is just this from like Zoe some Laverne's guys boyfriend Instagram? or something? Yeah. yeah. No idea is this, this like? Is. No idea. <laughs> this looks like every kid that I went to high school with. Yeah. Just like their Instagram feed. Yeah, I'm Bathing ape, perfect. I too. still don't know who I that is. Me either. Yeah. I don't know. But hey, shout out to Aiden. He's a what? Oh. Famous TikToker, but not that famous. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Well, shout out. Oh, that's Mona Lisa, <laughs> I'm pretty Lisa, sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Josh, are you in any of this Top Shot shit? The Top Shot? Like those cards that are selling, like the NBA Top Shot? Uh, I mean, not like... I mean, I'm into sports cards, yeah. So, like, I'm no, but sports it, cards. It, 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 this actually stuns me. That I, I would have figured it's like, yeah, I own 20% of the company. It's like literally the hottest thing right now there is. People are spending gods of money. It's like inve- they're digital highlights. Like you can buy an NBA, pl- NBA player's digital highlights. Oh, oh yeah. It's like the bananas. blockchain. It's on the blockchain, right? Yes, yeah, sort of, yes. It's like NBA highlights on a blockchain, yep. and you can own the actual clip. It's yes. like you own that. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard about that. Have you actually like gotten into it? And, like, I'm starting some? to get more, but like you can't like they'll auction off packs of cards and there'll be like a hundred thousand people trying to get you can't get them. Jeez. It's insane. <laughs> so they're card packs of plays essentially. Yeah. It's basically you like so if Le- you you can have a LeBron James dunk, right? And you right. buy it and you like own that Hold specific it. Hi- sure you can watch on youtube but it's like a baseball card it's like you own it and you, if you buy these things like and kareem who's here knows more about it but like i'm talking people pen, spend 10 grand on a highlight and then they'll flip it and yeah. sell it for like 30 grand like 10 seconds yeah. later it's nuts Jeez. Yeah, all right It's crazy. Yeah, it's it's insane. I mean, when you look at like the actual cards too. Yeah, at, oh, the whole market, ridiculous. everything, Bitcoin, cards, GameStop, people are just right. making billions on shit. We need we need to do something with the card space or something. Like ah, so, I know we should do so. a live. I'm trying to get my hands on a pack. We could do like a live live unboxing. Yeah, of the pack. There is a That'd pack be cool. Up there at like three o'clock. But it's cheap, right? No, this one's ninety nine dollars. They're usually nine. And how many people get the packs? How do I so, can I so, try to get in this before it happens? Yeah, we'll be, we'll be trying to get you. Okay, cool. Shit, okay. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna try to get one. Gandhi. Go, okay, Gandhi. So we went Dude, a different I'm route this time with history. Yeah, I'm great at history, <laughs> I guess. And now right, yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna watch videos. The video. you know, same thing, boomer, like do we know what the video is? Okay. A little twist up here. Yeah, we're really we're changing the game. Yeah, I said that. it's like it we up. gotta keep it keep it fresh. Do you know the title of the painting? It looks like a really good part. It's killing me. Uh, Something about Mississippi. Do you know who this is? I, I am having... <gasps> oh, oh. How do you not know this? What, wait, who'd you say? Yoda. Yoda? <laughs> That's just a random. Okay. I, I, I guess is that like what you guys thought we were going to say? Probably. Because yeah, setting you guys up for failure, it appears. M- Mona Lisa, did they just call Mona... No, who did you think Helen Keller was? Helen Keller is the Nazi guy. No. What Nazi guy? I don't know. He like he's like a terrorist. You Helen Keller is a Nazi though. terrorist. This that can't is a be male. real. This is, is that Trish. what you're telling this me right Trish. now? Yeah, I'm gonna write Helen Keller here. Yeah. Right? No. Are you thinking of Hitler? How do you not know Hitler? Hitler the yeah, that, that's it. Who is Hitler? Helen Keller was, was the blind Paul? and deaf person who was fake. <laughs> like a... She didn't exist, but everyone believes she was deaf and blind. What? She was fake? <laughs> yeah, she was deaf and blind. That, that is a conspiracy. What Pearl though. Harbor was, if I say Pearl Harbor. Is that a bridge? Pearl Harbor, wow. Dude. Do you know what D-Day is? Well, I mean, yeah. if you don't D-Day. know who Hitler is, you're not going to know what D-Day is. But <laughs> <laughs> you're, are you being... The system is failing. That's crazy. You can always I can't. I, I just... I, I can't believe that. Because you don't know who Hitler is, though? That's impossible. That's crazy. That, yeah. That's right. like you go on 
you just go on like social media and you'll learn that. Yeah, or just like go to school one once. <laughs> one day, okay. one day. All right, one, two, one um, day of high, questions? one day of high school, and you will Does learn who any? Hitler is. Promise. Do we have questions? Oh, we still oh, okay. go. I know this kid. He's a singer. Really? Yeah, he's really Lu good. Louis Louis Capaldi or whatever his name yeah, is. Yeah, Louis Capaldi. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Is that who it is? Oh! You got it. Damn. He had like a huge Fire. hit. People love him. Yep. I feel like there's is he the always guy that was like once I you was kind of have like years. Songs, is that that guy? And you're a singer and you're not overly attractive because then it's like you did it all on pure yeah. talent. It's like oh, you're talented. Right. Yeah. True. <laughs> Tila Dunn. Tila Dunn. Tila Dunn, yeah. yeah. She's something else. I don't know who that is. Social she, media. She's a TikToker. Does uh, like TikTok and everything. Her, she the can't swim girl. Her body oh, proportion oh. was ridiculous. Tiny little waist, humongous boobs. She got new boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Schmurda. Bobby yeah. Schmurda is free. Bobby bitch. She Bobby bitch. What was he in jail for? Guns, I think. Um, yeah, maybe he was there for six years. So yeah, can it have been like? Is, so is Schmurder? <laughs> I always gang. wondered that. Like the murder is no accident as part of that last name. I take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, I don't know. I I, if he got in trouble for guns, then yeah, yeah. you think like that's his stage name? Bobby Schmurder. Right. Cindy Crawford. Most beautiful, probably that. woman in her youth. Her daughter. Do you know? Do you guys know her, her daughter? Her daughter looks exactly. Her daughter's like, her. like big. She kind of looks like Bethany Frankel. That's like the nicest thing that's probably ever been said about Bethany Frankel. Have you seen <laughs> this Cindy Crawford in her prime? She's the original supermodel. Oh really? And no, her I daughter. Haven't. What probably, is her daughter? I mean, I probably. Name? I don't know her daughter's name. Her daughter is, is like it? looks oh. exactly like Anne was dating. Um, the comedian from SNL for a hot yeah. minute. Yeah, Pete Davidson. She, her daughter looks exactly like her. Kaya. What's her name? Kaya. Kaya Gerber. Kaya Gerber, yeah. Yeah, she's so pretty. So pretty. They look like the same. Right. Okay, yeah, Ness just showed me a picture of Cindy Crawford. She, She's like, yeah. She was the literally the yeah. original supermodel, super smart. I think went to Harvard, maybe. Like Really? She, yeah. Wow, I yeah, didn't know Yeah, Cindy all Crawford that. is... She's a boss bitch. She's like the one. She had this growing up, this Pepsi commercial. She had the... Mo like, if you the just mole. said to me walking down the street, who has a mole? I'd be like, Cindy Crawford. Yeah. That's how That's iconic how people, she was. That's how people knew her by. <laughs> right. Just a handsome man. <laughs> so, yeah. I have no idea. No clue. Oh, does this guy have an accent too? That's a problem. How do you say that? To, to <laughs> Jay Jean Page. That's why I, I met David oh, Beckham and Victoria, both with the accents. I'm like, these fucking two. Jesus. Was he as right. um, handsome as It's almost person? too much. David Beckham's one of those guys. Are you guys, you know Beckham, right? Yeah, yeah. He just has an aura. He just has like this. Oh. Yeah. Huh. You can like hear the <laughs> angels singing. Yeah. Dope. Oh. What? Extina. Wrestler. I think dead. Her proportions are nuts. Well, she was a wrestler. <laughs> China. Fuck. That's why. I'm WWE? Dead. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Is she dead? Is China dead? Dead. Yeah. R.I.P. Rip. Yeah, oh. R.I.P. Oh, what's his name? Come on. Um, it's John Wick, but I don't know, like. <laughs> yeah. I don't know his. Fuck. Yeah, I don't know his. Um, I do know it. I do know it. Come on, Josh. John you, you got this. close enough to me, for me, but <laughs> I can't. I, can't. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Keanu Reeves. Yeah, fuck. Have you ever seen Point Break? It's like one of my favorite movies of all time. The John the Point John Wicks Point. are awesome too. Uh, I don't know if I've seen Point Break. Watch the original. I, I weirdly seven. I went to like a Catholic high school, right? And they played. It was like this public Catholic high school. It was really weird, but they they did this. I remember watching like Keanu Reeves in this super old biblical movie really weird huh <laughs> super weird like he played this role or it was like a buddhist movie or something so crazy movie like we bad acting but it's weird yeah i love keanu <laughs> that's daft punk isn't it i don't know anything yeah did huh. you guys didn't know that one no 
I mean, after you said it, I was like, yes, of course it is. But I, I, I would have. I wouldn't have. That. I wouldn't have guessed it. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have guessed it. What? Yeah, they were in the news recently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. Now the thing about them splitting up, whoever has the power could just put somebody else behind the helmet, and you'd never know they split up. That's right. very true. Is that it? Huh. Okay, we have a couple questions. I think. Let me see. Did you guys see the baby roasting JoJo Siwa? Yes, I actually had that on the list. <laughs> oh, we didn't talk it. about that. What? What? Do you want to break that down for me? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> when, when I saw it, I was just like, we could, and people like started like coming at him. I'm like, do you really think the baby, the guy that has like shot somebody, think he cares? Well, no. he really. tweeted. He tweeted and said that his daughter's a big fan of her. Yeah. Yeah. He also did tweet and say the that. the video's funny. Have you seen it, Dave? No, like him? I haven't. Let's play it. Don't wanna get me started, nigga. Turn me up, niggas gonna see why. Nigga, you a bitch. Jojo, see why. Bitch, let the wrong nigga get rich. Funny. Both of the chains on my neck, they can pee with each other. They fight Where did that come beat. from? Like, yeah, it's why are so they even random. in the same world? It's so random that he did that. That's that's the crazy part. It's like, why why is he rapping about Jojo Siwa? But it's it's Probably really, I guess, his because daughter. his daughter's no, a fan. Yeah. It's because his daughter's a fan. That's how he knows who she is. And it rhymes. So then he did like some smart wordplay or whatever. Puts her, puts her in. And then people go crazy. Like James Charles is tweeting about it. James Charles um, is pissed. Which is yeah. crazy uh, because I, I – and again, I I readily admit I have thick skin and don't take a ton personal. But let's say that that is Ness's face. To me, like that's your vari- – like not a ride, but it's good. If people are like talking yeah. about you and dropping right, your right. lyrics randomly, like in terms yeah. of like – you're huh, like something's baby. happening you're, you're here. I Disney wish I was kid. into baby song. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's you're awesome. Disney I'd be getting pumped mentioned into baby. He did that. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Yeah. But I, I don't think like TikTok like commenters totally like get that, you know. But I don't think they get like again. This guy will not care. Right. He yeah. has he has literally like mugged people, shot people. I think he literally killed a dude. Like probably. He doesn't care. <laughs> Probably doesn't doesn't care what some fans are saying on totally. social media. Yeah, zero percent. And it also back to the original. Getting mentioned in song is like just to me. It's like <laughs> yeah, that's like awesome. street cred. It's yeah. like oh, this is fucking sick. I'm so. in a da baby song. Yeah, like, that's exactly. Sick. Yeah. Um, for the questions, there's not really many, but everyone wants to know about merch and an update of when it's going to be out. So we, we are working on the sweats. They're supposed to yeah. be sent. We have, like, a girl who created these, like, unique call her daddy sweatpants that I saw. And they're, they're like sick. one of a kind. And we're like, yeah. hey, can you make a bulk run of these? And when I say bulk, like 500. So she's making, but every one is, like, handmade. Yeah. So it's not the easiest thing. It's not like just putting on an assembly line. So we have that. And I think there were a couple sweatshirts that my merch team sent me. But Yeah, they, they sent me a bunch, too. We were I was talking with the merch team about Last week, I think so. There, there, there's definitely gonna be merch soon. Yep. Okay. They wanted they wanted to do the drop in March. Yeah. They wanted it to be next month. So we want it to be like cool. Like even the sweatshirts were <laughs> yeah. different than things we different did, and having merch that every piece is kind of handmade is sort of sick. Yeah, it's cooler. I, I agree. And yeah. people will want it more. Okay. All right, that's it. Agreed. All right, thank you, Nessa. Yeah. Bye, Nessa. Congrats Thanks for on the song. Me. It's Thank so good. You. Congratulations. 